Hello everybody and welcome back. So, uh, are you ready to, well, witness Gerald uh, starting his acting career? Because I am. Alright, uh, from what I have wrote here I have to make two choices and then the lines in the play. Alright. Ah, there you are. Managed to hire some ushers. Wonderful. That's one matter resolved. Wanted to talk about the text itself. Hmm. It's not at all badly written. In fact, I quite like it. I was willing to relax my standards to help Dudu, but we may have something very interesting here. I've very clear ideas who to cast as the servant, the witcher and the queen, but I'm not certain who should play the prince and the princess. These performances bring in much coin? Well, it varies. On good days, the square is barely capable of accommodating everyone. Other times, we're lucky to earn a handful of coppers. Of course we shall pay you a fee as well. You're a member of the ensemble now. <laughs> Thanks. I'm gonna save this one for last. So who do you see playing the Doppler Prince? I'm finding it hard to decide between two candidates. Abelard Ritzer would be the safer bet. He's been part of our troupe for ages, has flawless technique, but he doesn't exactly captivate the crowds. Who's your other option? Maxim Bollier, outstanding actor, and audiences love him, but sadly I can never be sure he'll show up sober. Or that he'll show up at all. Okay, here I want to go with this guy, Abelard. Let's go with Abelard. I'll take a reliable artisan over an unpredictable artist any day. Rightly so. The project is risky enough without our casting Maxim. So, about the princess. Small part, but an important one. Any idea who could play her? Priscilla would be the obvious choice. She's young and beautiful. Yet, I do have more stage experience. Yeah, no. Uh, young and beautiful trumps experience all the time. At least for women. Let's have Priscilla do it. No offense, but uh, most people... Assign greater importance to appearance than to talent. I understand. I shall let her know. I'm certain she'll be wonderful. Now, I wonder who's gonna play the Witcher. Who's playing the Witcher? An amateur. It'll be my first time working with him. But I'm confident he'll pull it off. Newcomer to the troupe? In a sense. Oh, stop pretending you don't know. I'm talking about you. Okay, I really want to say no, not an actor and no talent, but I don't think it's a good idea, story-wise. You know, Dudu will see us, he'll recognize us. It's a good idea. Doubt I'll get a standing ovation, but Dudu will see me. That's the key. But you will make an effort, won't you? Learn your lines, at least. I'll give it a shot, of course. Yeah, I do have them memorized on my phone. Wait, nothing else? Alright, got the cast figured out. It seems so. Prepared to plunge headlong into your career as a mama? Uh, sure, why not? We can start now. Looked over the script, out of curiosity. We can start anytime, even now. Well, we've no time to lose. Come to the stage. Zoltan, what are you doing here? <laughs> Pissy told me you ought to put on a play. Were you playing the lead? I'm not the lead. Oh, I thought to myself, I'd sooner shave my beard than miss that. Tell me, Witcher, are you going to wear hose and a codpiece? Come, Geralt, you must focus your mind before you go on stage. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, most honorable citizens of the hallowed city of Novigrad, 
Welcome. We have for you an exquisite comedy. Its title, The Doppler's Salvation. The players, Witcher Geralt as himself, Katarina as the queen, Leo Ribe as the humble servant, appearing as the prince, a veteran of the Novigrad stage, Abelard Ritza. And as the princess, the lovely Trabaritz with the voice of a nightingale, Priscilla. Majesty, the monster slayer awaits. Your summons he's answered and stands at the gates. Show him in. I must speak to the man. But first, some wine to steady my hand. <laughs> Witcher, your task is a matter most tender. A monster shall show a tonight's beastly splendor. Stand guard, beware, kill the beast if he shows. Your reward you'll receive on my finest pillows. To slay beasts most foul, twas for this I was made. I kill as my calling, not just to get paid. He's swallowed the bait, this fool of a witcher. I'll ensure the foul bow reveals his true figure. The monster revealed, the witcher shall strike. The beast will he slay, thrust his head on a pike. Oh, my child will pity her love, this beast. Though at least ere he goes, he'll enjoy a last feast. Gathered are we, a host fair and noble, to celebrate this day the princess's betrothal. Alas, no monster do I see or hear. Perhaps midst the guests he hides in fear. My dear... Long have we hid our love's tender fires. Months we've restrained our loins' hot desires. Tonight shall it end. Be my wife. That's my plea. That having said, I'll get down on my knee. Oh, darling, I will, I will, I will. Wait, with wine must we toast this moment joyful. If not, a foul curse shall rend your lives woeful. D -d 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 Treason! Tis not wine, but a brew spiked with silver. My bowels contract, a foul beast to deliver. Hark, hark. Tis no prince, but a Doppler imposter. Seems men's hearts can love for changelings foster. Behold, Witcher, the beast of which I spoke. Unleash your sword, let fly the killing stroke. Stop, stop, beast or man, tis my love, my betrothed. Sheath your blades, fear a Doppler. Tis a thing most foolish. Changing one's shape does not make one ghoulish. Remember, tis not flesh a monster makes. But a heart that is base, such as in this knave, aches. Witcher, tis true. This wretch's foul suspicions tainted my mind with this plan so malicious. The Doppler must live. My daughter he'll wed. Beast or man, she loves him truly without dread. 
Tis our tale's end, good folk, and its moral is this. No monster is he whose shape can shift. The Witcher is just. A true Doppler's friend. But you, foul page, in chains you shall end. Guard! Call the guard! Remove the traitor at once! Hey, hear the princess's command? Come up here. Come on then, governor. Up you go. On stage. Toss the traitor scum in the dungeon! Don't be afraid. In the end, everyone will live happily ever after. Doppler and Princess wed the same night. The servant's heart melted. He wept at the sight. Doppler's to the stake! Burn them all! Give it a rest, mate. Can't you see it's all in fun? This is a comedy. A ghoul could play the prince. Light it up, for God's sake. me. How'd you do it? Greetings, Dudu. Heard about that souvenir Horson left on your face. So, you know everything? Have you seen Siri? No. Still looking for her. Geralt! Masterful! You did great. Haven't they laughed that hard in ages? Lads won't believe it when I tell them. Explain one thing to me. How'd you and Dandelion manage to displease Reuven, Horson, and the Temple Guard all at the same time? It's not as if we planned it. <laughs> okay, so plays over. Not much of a comedy. Maybe it was in the parts that we missed that were weren't shown. But happy end, all the same. All right. I know Siri went back to Horsens to get you. How'd you manage to escape? I ran after her, wanting to keep up, but I'd have been a hindrance. She called out to me, entreated me to shapeshift and disappear. I tried to find them, Siri and Dandelion. It was as if they turned to vapor. Fearing for my life, I shifted each day, becoming someone else. Even considered turning into Siri to trick her pursuers, but... Slow down, Marmalade. Hmm. Geralt, when did you last see Cirilla? Hmm? Been a while, hasn't it? A while, yeah. For me, likewise. Must be a full grown lass by now. Do, do, do us a wee favor. Show us Siri for a moment. Geralt? No, no need. I'll recognize Siri when I see her, sure of it. Oh, oh, I just thought you might want to see. Not angry with me, are you, Geralt? No. I feel relieved. And Dandelion? Were you able to find him? Witch hunters nabbed him, but there's good news too. Uh, why can't I say the other part? Menga's dead. Ugh, a fiend. Good thing someone finally killed it. Though another, just as bad or worse, would likely take its place. Wouldn't be so quick to assume. Got a feeling it could be a decent fellow. What's he talking about? Alright, so the other conversation is gone. Damn it. We think we can free Dandelion. Just need your help. What could I do? Take on Menga's appearance. 
Then go and give the order for Dandelion to be moved to Oxenfurt. We'll lie in ambush in a ravine en route. Spring Dandelion from the convoy when it rolls by. Wait, not so fast. How am I to be Menga? And I've no notion where Dandelion's being held. No one knows Menga's dead. No need to worry about being exposed. No one save you. Would this have anything to do with the fire at the Witch Hunter's barracks? We were in the area. <laughs> I sorely regret not seeing that. Dandelion's on Temple Isle, imprisoned there. You'll need to find out exactly where. But what if they grow suspicious? Start asking questions. I'll bet my best axe no one will pester the commander of the Temple Guard. Besides, you're a Doppler and an actor, and an actor and a Doppler. Got double the spark to improvise your way out of any situation. If things get spicy, you'll just nip round the corner and transform into a buxom wench, a, a jackdaw, or whatever else strikes your fancy. Of course, it's that simple. Thanks. Listen, you'll manage. Everybody believes Manga's missing. You can make up any story you want. My lads and me will lie in ambush in the ravine. Geralt will then join us and we'll await word from you. But how am I to contact you as Menga? Send word that the convoy's left. You'll need to figure that out. Come on, Guile's your middle name. So, we all clear? Dudu, get your ass to Temple Isle. I'm off to assemble my crew. And we'll be waiting for you, Geralt. We could use a bit of support. Let me talk to Dijkstra. Catch him in a good mood and he just might lend us a few bodies. We'd manage. We would. We're just my lads. But if you miss Siggy that much... He's the one's got a soft spot for me. Said so himself recently. Whoa! Wait! Hold on! What happens after? I, I hope you don't expect me to continue as Menga. Live like Chappelle. Burning the occasional heretic to keep up appearances? No. Once it's over, we expect to see you at the Rosemary in time, where we'll all meet. To get pissed like wild badgers. So, settled? Let's get to work. You were marvelous. Not a single mistake. The performance in general. What did you think? I doubt the audience understood it all, but that's to be expected. I'm just pleased the Puffins got the word out. That was quite the crowd. You were right to cast Abelard as the prince. It's likely Maxim would have shown up drunk as a fish or forgotten about the premiere altogether. Here you are, your fee. I must admit your style of mumming, well, it's quite minimalist. Did you study anywhere? At Kaer Morhen. Minimum expression means maximum effect. Thanks for the coin. Take care now. All right, so I guess, uh, gotta go to Dijkstra. Any other sounds? Talk to people now. Okay, there's another one. Oh, how many are there? Alright, seriously. Oh wow, a lot of steps in that quest. All right. Geralt. Okay, nothing. Take care now. I stuck around for nothing. On your way. In springtime, the roads wet. Gotta convince Dijkstra to give me some uh, oh, some of his men. And if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> I kind of have to tell him the truth of what I'm doing, and he'll give me, I think, three men, or was it six? Anyway, save before doing anything. I do. What do you want? 
recently mentioned you uh, have something of a soft spot for me. Could I ask you a favor? Oh, -ho -ho. that's quite the start, Geralt. What's it you want? Need to carry out an ambush. Could use a few of your men. An ambush? What's this about? Give me men who will survive the fight. They can tell you afterwards. <laughs> I like you, Geralt. That's why I'll give you not one, not two, but three of my best men. Okay, I guess I go go with three. Three's enough. Then it's settled. Or can I get more? Alright, I'm curious about the other option. I remember something with six. Alright, uh, let me load real fast and I'll be right back. Alright, here we go. I was hoping for a number ending in teen. Teen? How many best men you think I have? Hmm, more than three, maybe. I'll give you your teen once you tell me what you're planning. I think this is it. This is what I remember. Need to attack a temple guard convoy. Hmm. Wouldn't have any other favors to ask, would you? Search your heart. Let me know, hmm? You can only give me three men, really. Since you aim to stick your prick in the eternal fire itself, I can't even give you that number. Mean you refuse to help? I mean that at the agreed time and place, you will find six men waiting who have absolutely nothing to do with me. Is that clear? As a bright summer day. Thanks. Alright, so yeah, choose uh, the second option, get six men. And I should have enough time to actually... Um, might not be enough to finish this. I have to do the ambush next episode. Double shies. Yeah, I'm thinking, trying to remember what happens during the ambush. Look awfully suspicious to me, tramp. No, I'm not. Alright, so there's the ambush, then something else happens. Probably some uh, ah, cinematic. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit it, so. Okay, where's the ambush? That's the ambush. Let's go over here. Maybe end it on some Gwent. And who knows, maybe if I have enough time, if I finish fast, I'll be able to do that other uh, mission to fight that uh, monster or something. I don't remember exactly what it was. I think it was a chort. Here I am. This guy. It's you. I'll never forget you. I must thank you once more. Come again. Did I meet you somewhere? You know me? Where from? We met long ago in Brockalong. Possible. I can't say I remember. No surprise. You were badly wounded then. If not for the Dryad's care, it's unlikely you would have survived. Long time ago. So long it feels like it happened in another life. Maybe that's not so far from the truth. Be glad to glance at what you're selling. Alright, let's take a look at this. Critical hit damage. Bonus XP and gold. Not that good. But kinda wanna see what it looks like. And it's a relic, so a collectible. Anything else? Go to... I think it's a blacksmith that has a lot of these. And here. We have all of those.
Va faire. All right, let's take a look at this sword. Not bad. All right, I'll throw it in the uh, pile with the other ones. Greetings, Gwynblade. All right, let's play some Gwent. You play Gwent? Do you really have no one else to play with? Always nice to play someone new. Fine, beggars can't be choosers after all. I'll play you, and even stake one of my unique cards. Pull out your cards. Ah, oh, damn it, I forgot to change my cards again. Okay, he passed. Uh, 25. I have two healers, I can bring these guys back. And I should win. There we go. Hey, what card do I get? Damn it all, I'd so hoped for victory. Alas, so be it. You've won the card fair and square. Very right, good experience. What card did I get? Ooh, Siri. Gotta throw that in the deck right now. And my Nilf Guardian deck is coming along nicely. I still have to get another one of these guys. I think I have enough spies. And I'm possibly missing one healer archer. Not sure. But yeah. Nilf Guard is very powerful. And let me change this guy. Doors are. Randomly chosen unit affects both players. I don't know, is this actually good? 
Yeah, I'll keep this one for now until I get the other two. Hey, did he give me two cards? Ned Francesca in the bar. Is that an elf? Is it a leader? Oh yes, yeah, see, leader. Okay. Uh, so yeah, uh, enough for this one. Next episode, we're gonna start with the ambush. So I'll see you there. And after that, I think there's a bunch of other quests leading right after the ambush we can go into. So yeah, okay. Uh, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later. Take care.